Good morning. Today I will talk about how often you need to change your running shoes. Now this answer, it, it really varies depending on a lot of different factors. Generally, um, it, after about a year, they should be changed, but there are factors that mean you need to change them earlier or even a little bit later. First, if you're only wearing your running shoes during a specific season, then they might last longer because you're not wearing them all year round. Also, if you are training for a long distance run, like a 10 kilometer marathon, ultra marathon, then you really need to change your shoes a lot more often. Some people change them every six months, sometimes three months, two months. It just depends on how often you are running and also what surfaces you are on. If you're running on surfaces like concrete, your sidewalks or um, on general roads, then your shoes might wear down a little bit faster. If you're running on or using your, your shoes on grass or if you're indoors on carpet, then they might last a little bit longer because they're not uh, absorbing as much shock. For example, if you have a specific indoor shoe and a specific outdoor running shoe, you might find that one wears down a little bit quicker than the other, maybe not because of the volume that you do, but maybe because of the surface that you're on. Next, I'll talk about the type of activity you're doing. So if you're doing low impact activities, or if you're biking, yoga, and you're using running shoes or other type of lower impact activities, then your shoes might not wear down as quickly. Versus if you're doing more jumping or running, even just walking outside, then your shoes can wear down a lot quicker. You wanna be careful with shoes when you're indoors. They might not look like they need to be replaced because you're not getting all the dirt on them, but they do wear down as well. Even if you're outside versus inside, your indoor shoes do wear down. So don't take a look at how they are, how dirty they are, but take a look at the bottom of the shoe, the creases, that will tell you a little bit more information about how or if they need to be replaced or not. So what do I mean by the bottom of the sole and the creases? Well, if you look at the bottom here, that can tell you a lot of information about how they're wearing down. Now this shoe is getting close to um, needing to be replaced, but it's not quite there yet. So if I look a little closer, it is starting to wear down a little bit on the sole. So just a touch, but if you really start to see it wear down, if some of these lines here are completely worn out, then you know it's gone through the sole. But you can also look at how it's sitting. So you see how the back of this shoe curves up just on the outside? That might be normal in your shoe. A lot of running shoes will come like that now where there will be a, a bit of a slope here and that just helps you helps you run in a specific way, helps you your gait cycle or the way you walk, the way you run. Uh, so that can be there. Uh, that might not be related to the way that you're walking. So in this case, this shoe was like this when I got it, so that's okay. How you can really tell the difference is see how this navy blue, the darker sole here, it's about the same thickness all the way around, and that means that you're good. Uh, this part didn't really, it doesn't compress too much, um, but first you wanna look at that. You can also look at this part of the sole. If you see some more creases, then that can indicate that it's compressed quite a bit there. So this one, there isn't extra creasing, it's just the same lines. So this, this shoe here is, is still okay. So if you look at the top here, this is the type of creasing I'm talking about. So this is happening on the upper sole here, but this area, it still looks pretty good. Also look for that creasing around the whole sole, front, back, sides, and then you can look at the toe of the foot, or the toe of the shoe. See how there's a bit of creasing here? The toe is starting to curl up slightly, so that is an indication that the sole is starting to wear down. So once the shoe starts to curl up quite a bit, then you know that the sole has broken down and your shoe needs to be replaced. Another trick to keep in mind 
how often you need to change your shoes is just be aware of your body. If you start noticing little pains coming back or pain that you've never had, if you've had the shoe for a while and you start developing pain, then look at your look at your shoes, replace them first, see if that changes anything because sh different shoes can make a big difference. Once you've replaced your shoes a few times, you can see how long it you had with that shoe before you had to change it. If you see the same pattern repeats, if it's constantly one year or seven months, 14 months or whatever it is for you, if you see a pattern, then try and replace them just before that happens. So if you want to go out and look a, a month or two before you know you're going to have to change them, go out, take a look and then replace those shoes. So those are a few tips to consider when you're looking at replacing your shoes or when it is time to replace your shoes. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I would be happy to help.